I see why relationships don't make it past baby. I see why like a lot of people break up or you know there's infidelity because like when you have a baby, it is such a crazy trying time in your life. Have you been feeling lack of sex drive, annoyed, like not even wanting to be touched or bothered? Sis, I am here with you. You are not alone. I have been through it. But actually, it is a... mommies congratulations on your new bundle of joy whether you're expecting mommy just had your baby or it's not even thinking about having babies this tea you will need sooner or later so stay tuned if you want to know five spicy tips that I have did to increase my sex drive hold on mama's crying <laughs> be right back Yes, ladies, today is going to be a spicy topic video. I want to do like more of these videos on my channel where we're talking about real life issues and real life problems. This is my first time going through postpartum, okay? And let me say, honey, it's no joke, okay? It is no joke. And better yet, you don't even want to think about a sex life. Like, who cares? But however, we have to understand that if we are in a relationship, sex is important and sex matters and it's a time and a place for everything actually it is a scientific reason why okay so your big sis has been doing some research because i really wanted to bring you ladies some information that can help you i really wanted to know what i was talking about when it came to this topic so i did some research right it is actually mother nature's doing and why we have a lack of sex drive postpartum you see me looking down, I'm looking at my phone, your girl wrote some notes, okay, I'm trying to get a little organized, don't play with her, okay, don't play with her. Okay, so the reason for a lack of sex drive is when a woman is pregnant, her reproductive hormones are elevated and after giving birth, they crash. This results in a dip in estrogen, which can cause low sex drive and vaginal dryness. There also is an evolutionary reason for it. It's basically your body's natural way of ensuring that you take the time that's needed to properly heal and focus on caring for your baby instead of trying to create another one. Long story short, Mother Nature was like, listen, let me take your sex drive away just to make sure that you don't go back and get pregnant all over again, just so you can have enough time, resources, and energy to take care of your baby that you just brought here. So it makes sense because on TikTok it was this girl like she made a video basically saying that her and her dude just broke up. You know that she's going to the postpartum and she has a low lack of sex drive and he just left. Because basically I guess he wasn't satisfied sexually and I seen all these mamas in the comments saying that they were going through the same thing. And I'm like okay it makes sense like I'm not the only one. You're not the only one you know so just understand it is a mother nature thing. It's scientifically proven they haven't done studies on it so mamas it's not your fault it's not it's not my fault but however we can maneuver around this problem in this situation you know more effectively because guess what knowledge is power okay also if you're breastfeeding every time you breastfeed you're releasing hormones oxytocin which is called aka the love hormone which is released when you're having sex and also prolaxin i ain't gonna lie i remember the first time yo i remember the first time using the breast pump i kind of got turned on I'm like, is this normal? Like, I kind of really got turned on. Oh my god! Wow! From using the breast pump for the first time when I was trying to encourage labor. If you haven't seen my labor vlog, I'm going to link it up here. It's beautiful. You might shed a tear. It's a must watch. Go check it out after you're done with this video. But yeah, so you know, though that is kind of like the background history of why you may be feeling how you're feeling. Just be patient with yourself. I'm hoping and praying that you have a nice, lovely partner who is patient with you. But also, you know, it is our job to put in effort. Even though we're a mommy, we're still a partner. You know, we still have our own needs and wants and everything of that nature. My little one is sitting over here. I had to bring her in the room, y'all, because she was having a fit out there. So, the first tip is going to be mental, okay? You have to, during this moment, during this journey in your life, you have to really be, have grace with yourself, love yourself a little extra hard, and be patient with yourself. Me and Tisha, what are you talking about? 
meaning like look in the mirror at your body we all know our bodies look totally different at during postpartum than before baby we already know that and carry this channel for nine long months you may not even feel like yourself you may look in the mirror and say who is this Cause this is not me I have been there but please understand that this is a journey and it is all worth it however it is very trying in these times when you're going through postpartum and you're new in postpartum you, you need to be looking in the mirror saying affirmations you need to be definitely giving yourself extra self-love complimenting yourself being graceful with yourself and understanding that your body is going through changes okay mamas our bodies are so special we can really carry life for nine months and push it out and then turn around and take care of the child and feed the child our bodies are special so please understand that like during this time your hormones are going to be everywhere you know your mind your mental is going to be everywhere that's why it's so very very important to have a strong mental during this time because at the end of the day, you know, I don't know about you, but sex was the last thing on my mind when I was dealing with postpartum. I was looking in the mirror like, ew, I do not like how my body looked. Like, it's not sexy, it's not beautiful. And during those times, I wasn't worried about sex. I wasn't worried about how my man felt. I wasn't worried about, I was worried about just me. And you know, while it's okay to be selfish during postpartum, I feel like you need to but also understand that our partners are very important to us. You know, like they're fathers too. They're going through changes as well. So just understand that you need to give yourself a little bit of extra grace. And please understand that nobody can make you love you but you. Nobody can make you love this new body but you. Yes, your man should be affirming you and you know, complimenting you, you know, and just showing you extra love as well. But it is your job to understand that your body is still sexy, honey. You need to look in the mirror, put on some sexy lingerie, you know, whenever you feel like it. You know, take care of yourself. Make sure your hair is looking presentable. You know, what now? And I know, ladies, I know you like Tisha, what? Like, I'm talking about later on, postpartum, maybe when your baby's two or three months. Slowly but surely, start doing things that are going to make you feel like yourself again. And I believe, like, once you start getting in the groove of that, that's when you I will start to come back because you're being gracious with yourself you're being careful with yourself and you're loving yourself you know so just understand that the first tip to get your drive back is mental like you have to give yourself extra love and grace because your hormones are going to be everywhere like I remember laying down on the couch and my heart just started palpitating and like the room seemed like it started to spin i'm just like tisha what the f like i already have anxiety but my anxiety was on a level a thousand ladies when i was going to postpartum so please understand i say this for number one is because like it all starts from within it all starts with how you think about yourself because if you don't feel sexy and beautiful nine times out of ten you're not going to want to be having sex with your man you know so just understand that he thinks you're beautiful as he should still think you're beautiful period sis <laughs> and don't get me wrong i know everybody's situation is different some of us you know really are dealing with a-holes but i'm talking about the guys who love you who care about you who want to get your relationship back to where it was before postpartum or before baby this is this is who i'm speaking of of course if you have a guy that you know is, a, is an absent father or maybe like a one night stand that's a little different i would do another video about that if you ladies want me to because I'm not going through that but I have been through women who have went through things of that nature and I know it's not easy you know but sis you're gonna get through it if that's your situation but I'm speaking of the ladies who are in relationships who are married you know who really want to get their relationship back to a healthy standing place because I see why relationships don't make it past baby I see why like a lot of people break up or you know there's infidelity because like when you have a baby it is such a crazy trying time in your life um so let's go to the next tip the next tip is communication listen ladies you need to communicate to your man to the best of your ability what is going on in your mental what's going on through your spiritual through your emotional you need to communicate that because he can't read your mind men don't have babies and they can't have babies so it's up to us for us to really communicate and um, express how we feel you know if you need more help with the with the baby ask for more help during this time in your relationship your ego has to really be pushed to the side because y'all it's rough like I ain't gonna like like I would say like the first month or maybe three weeks it's rough like y'all gonna barely be sleeping 
um you know like if you're breastfeeding that's a whole nother ball game okay whole nother ball game so i would just say communicate ask your partner how is he feeling you know ask your partner are his needs still being fulfilled because yes it is all about us and our babies but our partners still matter and just still make him make it a safe space for him to tell you how he feel make it a safe space for him to express his wants and his needs and it may be a given that you may not like what he has to say or you may not like how he's feeling but make it a safe space so he doesn't feel like he has to go out there and find another person to you know for him to express himself you know you don't want that because best believe like <laughs> it happens i have heard like a lot of stories about men cheating while their women were pregnant or you know during um, postpartum and I kind of see why not giving the fellas an excuse because it's never an excuse to cheat but like honestly as I have been through postpartum sex was really the last thing on my mind y'all sex who sex where I don't care about no sex boy I'm tired I'm bleeding my stomach is cramping I'm breastfeeding my, my nipples are sore you know I'm sleep deprived all of that you think I care about some sex like but us women, like I said, we just have to try to put ourselves in their shoes, okay? I think that us women, we don't do that enough. And me too, me as well. And I'm still working on that, trying to put myself in my man's shoes. Um, because, you know, there are good guys out there. And for the guys that are good guys, they deserve the world, okay? So that's tip number two. Really, really practice and cone in on your communication during this journey, during this chapter in your relationship. Because y'all gonna need it y'all will not survive without communication okay and i really really mean that like communication is key in a healthy relationship but mamas it is definitely key during your postpartum and also you know when it comes to you getting your libido back your sex drive back and with you guys getting back into group into the groove of how things were and granted it will not go back to how it was because it's not supposed to like this is a whole new chapter in your relationship but however we still want to keep our man pleased and satisfied because if you didn't know men show their emotion and love through sex like that's just how they are that's just how god created them so you know we may show our love and emotion through you know cooking and cleaning and this and that but no men really show and express yourself through sex it's a fact ask your man if you don't believe me okay tip number three and this is where the spice begins okay them previous tips they were crucial okay do not skip out on those tips because that's building the foundation okay in order for anything to stand we have to build the foundation mamas but spicy tip number three masturbate <laughs> masturbate baby mamas listen like we have to get out of this notion that masturbation is bad that we shouldn't be masturbating that you know this this and this that i believe that you should know your body in and out i believe that you should know what pleases you and what does not please you and how else will you understand that if you don't masturbate and if you don't you know explore your body like this is your body sis so i just think that women like you know society has made it seem like us women don't deserve pleasure and things of that nature no sis you deserve pleasure even if you have to give it to yourself okay and when you masturbate, I just feel like it gets you back in that mood, releasing chemicals in your um, body that is, you know, signaling sex. And, and honey, when you're masturbating, visualize your partner, you know, visualize y'all doing foreplay or even ask him to, you know, play a part in it. You know, if you're not ready to go all the way, sis, sis, I have some more spicy videos coming up for you. So if you don't want to miss out, hit that subscribe button and become a part of the family start off slow start masturbating start doing foreplay you know because you might still be sore or you just might be scared to have something stuck up there you know what i'm saying you, you just might be scared because a whole human just came out you it's okay baby i understand start off with honey listen all men want is effort okay all they want is effort and i feel as though if they see you giving effort, then you know that's going to keep them happy and satisfied because they know you just pushed a whole baby out of your JJ. Next tip would be to take supplements. And y'all, this saved my JJ, okay? Because as I said previous in this video, sometimes breastfeeding can cause vaginal dryness, honey, and it's a real thing. 
<laughs> when you can take these supplements I haven't tried ashwagandha but I've heard good things about them two supplements that I have taken and that has worked for your girl are the buckthorn oil Hang on, I got this off of YouTube. It's Omega 7 C Buckthorn Oil, um, 1000 mg high potency. And it says it promotes skin, hair, and nail support, heart health, and healthy membranes. So ask your doctor before you take any of these. Um, but however, I have done my research before I put these in my body. And also, if you're, you know, worried about postpartum hair loss and things of that nature, this can help you with that, baby, along with biotin or whatever you choose to take. But, y'all, when I say this, when I say this caused your girl to be wet, wet, slippery, slow, honey, he went down and he ain't come back up. Name something you might hurt yourself riding on. Oh, Lord. You know what I'm thinking? Listen, this works, okay? This works works I'm trying to tell y'all this works if you see these dogs in your front yard huh, just know upstairs i'm going hard bing bong see buckthorn oil try it i would say like if you're planning to have sex you know like plan like a little special night or whatever if you're planning to do that take these two to three days prior because you know it'll make sure it's really really moist but even taking these like a day or two prior before you know you have the nasty it works y'all like these tablets are very very small because me i don't like swallowing big pills so that can be like a turn off to me but these are really really small you know definitely easy to swallow you can take two um you can take two two times a day but it, it depends like you know what i'm saying like, if you don't feel comfortable just take two one time a day and <laughs> y'all hit my child <laughs> just take two one time a day and listen honey i promise you you don't have to worry about no vaginal dryness. I don't care how many times you breastfeed a day. I don't care about none of that. You don't even need no lubrication. Because I know at my six months check-in, the doctor was like, yeah, you're clear to have uh 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 um just use lubrication and go slow. Baby, who need a lube? This was this was my lube. Okay, <laughs> that's my lube when it's coming from the inside out. And also y'all know drink a lot of water. Cause water liquid makes liquid you know what i'm saying liquid makes liquid <laughs> you know if you put down what i'm picking up you just let me know but that's one and also the second supplement i didn't use the second one that much however i did use it for about a week in the beginning and it definitely helped after my six weeks was up but y'all to be honest i didn't wait the six weeks i don't recommend that i didn't wait the six weeks i didn't wait the six weeks y'all that's another video for another day okay but anyway um the second one is the libido love of my libido by ollie oily i'm gonna put a picture of it on the screen i used that for about a week and i did see a difference you know in my greenness i did see a difference i did um by where, however i didn't stay on them because i didn't like swallowing them y'all it's something about me and swallowing the pills i just they're not hard to swallow though. It's just me. I'm just dramatic. But um, I did research on those pills, like on TikTok and YouTube, and a lot of people said that those pills did work. So, you know, if you want to try a supplement, try that, and also try ashwagandha. I'm gonna try that soon. I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up on, on Amazon to see how much it costs, cause I heard really really good things about ashwagandha. Ashwagandha. The supplements, you know, the love in my libido is supposed to increase the drive. You know. Try it out. Listen, sis, it's about effort, okay? If your man see you putting in effort, he just better appreciate you, okay? He better. But that is the next tip. And next tip is to exercise, okay? And exercising can be take a walk. Exercising can be doing yoga. Exercising can be stretching. There is something about exercising. Studies have shown that women enjoyed having sex more on the days where they exercises versus the days that they didn't exercise due to the increase in your blood flow and testosterone. So, you know. I don't really gotta say too much more. It's just exercise, move your body. You know, obviously, take your time and go at your pace you know don't go off of her pace or his pace do what's best for you because this is your postpartum journey but i have even witnessed every time i go for a walk or move my body just get up and not sit around all day i feel better 
there's been days where I have laid in the bed all day versus days where I have maybe took like a 10 or 15 minute walk. And honey, it is a huge mm -hmm. difference mentally, physically, spiritually, everything. Just, you know, get up, move your body and you'll be happy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I stepped out of my comfort mm -hmm. zone just a little bit for y'all, but I feel like this is a topic that needs to be discussed um, because we're all grown. I don't care how old you are. If you had a baby, you know. You're basically considered grown in certain aspects because, honey, you are now responsible for a child. Not maturity-wise, but you know what I mean. Everybody who's grown ain't grown, if you know what I mean. But I... <laughs> she's having such a good time. Hi, mama, mama. Thank you for watching. I hope that you got at least a couple of gems that you can apply in your sex life and your love life and your relationships that's going to help you throughout your postpartum journey. If you like videos like this, hit that subscribe button because more are coming, okay? Don't forget, I love you, but God loves you more. Don't forget to take care of yourself. Love yourself first and be blessed.